Natural Disasters Class 5 Social Studies By the end of this session, you will learn about various types of natural disasters, such as, floods, drought, cyclones, landslides, earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. A disaster is an event that causes a lot of damage. Natural disasters in nature are big, spread over a large area, and cause loss of life and property. Flood A flood means dry areas of land, covered with a lot of water. Many parts of India get flooded during the rainy season. This causes suffering to huge numbers of people. When it rains very heavily, the water level in the river keeps rising. When they cannot hold the water, it flows over the banks and floods surrounding areas. This causes damage to the countryside and farmers' fields. Cities also get flooded, and the drainage system cannot drain the water fast enough. Flood cause damage to life and property. People who do not have proper homes suffer great hardship. Farmers suffer huge losses as their crops are destroyed. Drinking water gets contaminated by the dirty flood water, so more waterborne diseases like cholera can spread. Assam, West Bengal, and Bihar experience regular floods when the Ganga and its tributaries and the Brahmaputra overflows. Rivers and city drains should not be choked by throwing plastic and other rubbish. Since electric equipment can cause accidents if it is exposed to water, it is essential to disconnect all electrical equipment. Drought A drought happens when there is little or no rain for a long time. Crops cannot grow. And there is no water for the daily life of people. The most important reason for drought in India is the failure of the monsoon over several years. When the rain fails, the land dries up. Farmers cannot irrigate their crops. So, they face huge losses when there is drought. There could be also a shortage of some foods. It is important to conserve and store water when there is a good monsoon. This water stored in reservoirs and tanks is available during failed monsoon. In some places, traditional rainwater harvesting methods have helped to increase groundwater levels. Cyclones A cyclone is an extremely strong storm in which strong winds move in a circle. This is accompanied by heavy rain, that sometimes leads to, flooding. Causes Cyclones happen, when air over the sea becomes warm very quickly, and rises upwards. Cooler air rushes in to take its place. This fast-moving air swirls around in a circle, and creates a cyclone. Effects when cyclones reach land, the strong winds can uproot trees and destroy houses. The sea is very rough, and fishermen can drown if at sea. Andhra Pradesh, Orisha, and Tamil Nadu are cyclone prone areas. Weather scientists can say when a cyclone is forming over the sea. People are warned to take care and stay indoors, or if cyclones are likely to be severe, to move to other places. Fishermen are warned not to go out to sea. Medical kits, emergency medicines, first aid kits, food, 
and water to be kept ready. Landslides A landslide happens when the rocks and soil on mountains move suddenly. They start sliding down the slopes, destroying everything on their way. Landslides usually occur when there is very heavy rain in the mountains. This loosens the rocks and soil and make them move. Landslides become more frequent where there is heavy deforestation. The land is exposed since there are no trees to hold the soil together with their roots. A major landslide can destroy entire villages. Himalayan area is a landslide prone one. It is important to ensure that trees in the mountains are not cut as their root hold the soil. It is also important to be watchful during the very wet weather so that people can move to safe places if landslide is likely to occur. Earthquakes when the surface of the earth shakes and trembles, this is an earthquake. Earthquakes can be minor or major, depending on how severely the earth moves. Causes The center of the earth is made up of molten rocks and gases that are very hot. Sometimes, heat and movement inside the earth become very strong. When this happens, it can be felt on the surface of the earth as an earthquake. The places on the surface of the earth where the earthquake is strongest is called the epicenter. Effects Strong earthquakes cause enormous damage, especially the places close to the epicenter. Houses, roads, and buildings can crack and collapse. People can lose their lives. Earthquakes in the mountains can cause landslides. There have been severe earthquakes in the Himalayas. Northeast India, some parts in the Deccan and Western India, and also in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Precautions Scientists study the pattern and intensity of earthquakes. They can say, that an earthquake may happen in an area. People who live in earthquake-prone areas should build houses in such a way that they can withstand earthquakes. During earthquakes, it is important not to be inside or near buildings or tall structures. Tsunamis Sometimes a severe earthquake under the sea causes an extremely large and high wave in the sea. This is called a tsunami. Causes A tsunami starts when there is an earthquake, but the wave moves rapidly through the sea and can reach places that are far away from where the earthquake happened. Effects The huge wall of seawater causes flooding and enormous damage to coastal areas. The southern coast of India was badly affected in 2004 by a tsunami that started in Indonesia. Precautions Rapidly rising or falling coastal waters can be a sign of an approaching tsunami. Warnings are issued about a tsunami. People in coastal areas should leave and go to places inland, preferably those that are on higher ground. Volcanic eruptions A volcano is a mountain with a large opening at the top, through which gases and hot molten rock are forced out into the air. When these are thrown out with great force, it is called a volcanic eruption. Causes Volcanic eruptions take place when the heat inside the earth creates huge pressure. The molten rock and gases burst out through weak cracks on the Earth's surface called vents. Precautions People who live in eruption prone areas are taken to safer places as soon as an eruption starts. Food and water have to be stored for several days.
when disasters are likely to happen, the government warns the people and also make arrangements to rescue disaster hit people. This has helped in saving lives, but often the damage to property and crops cannot be prevented. Did you know? Active volcanoes, like Mount Etna, in Italy, erupt frequently. Dormant, or sleeping volcanoes, like Mount Ararat, in Turkey, may erupt again. Extinct volcanoes, like Mount Kenya, in Africa, have not erupted for many thousand years and are not expected to erupt again.